now that we are comfortable with production of uh, ammonia by Haber process let's see why is ammonia necessary why do we use ammonia especially why do we why do we use why do we need nitrogen all right it is widely used in the production of fertilizers npk are the three elements n is for nitrogen p is for phosphorus and k is for potassium these are the three main elements that are used in fertilizers and they have different functions in the plant in plants for example nitrogen is used to make proteins in plants which are responsible for the growth similarly phosphorus and potassium are used for flowering growth food production in plants and they're used in leaves and the chlorophyll similarly they have these three elements npk they have several vital uses for the plants that is why they're used as fertilizers because plant most plants cannot make their own nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they need to absorb these three elements from the ground from the soil that is why we need fertilizers so that they can these important essential elements can be absorbed in uh, in the roots and can be used by the plants all right so there are different types of fertilizers for example ammon uh, urea and ammonium nitrate there are a few others as well we'll see them soon now they differ from each other based on the nitrogen content in these different fertilizers oops it's written twice it's uh, nitrogen and different fertilizers okay that's good now percentage of nitrogen in different fertilizers <coughs> How do we calculate for example if we want to calculate what is the percentage of nitrogen in urea we'll divide the mass of nitrogen by the molecular mass and multiply by 100 that's how we calculate the percentage composition of any element in a compound we have in urea we have two nitrogens one nitrogen is 14 so we do it 14 times 2 because we have two nitrogens and the MR of nitrogen is 14 all right and we'll divide it by MR of the whole compound we have two nitrogens 14 times 2 we have four hydrogens hydrogen is 1 so 1 times 4 we have one carbon carbon is 12 so we'll do 12 times 1 and we have one oxygen which is 16 times 1 times 100 when we'll do the maths we'll end up with 28 upon 28 plus 4 plus 12 plus 16 which is 60 and this gives us 46.67 percent now this means that 46.67 percent of urea is nitrogen all right we need to know these calculations so that we do not add less amount of fertilizer or we do not add more amount of fertilizer more amount of fertilizer is also bad for the environment uh, and the less amount is obviously bad uh, not good enough for the plants why is more amount of fertilizer bad for the environment this is because excess of fertilizer it leads to a condition it leads to an environmental condition called eutrophication now what is eutrophication eutrophication is that you must have seen it as the green layer or the greenish algae that is uh, developed in this in the lakes or in the ponds or the green layer the top layer that floats on the surface of uh, stagnant water that is eutrophication all right so what happens why is it bad because when eutrophication occurs it prevents sunlight from entering the water all right when sunlight won't enter the vegetation under the sea plants or the plankton it will die also the green algae that is formed it will consume all the oxygen that is beneath uh, it consumes the green algae it will consume all the oxygen or the most of oxygen from the water all right so the fish will die because of lack of oxygen 
they will not have enough oxygen for the breathing or for respiration so because it will be blocked by uh, the algae the layer of algae that grows over the surface of water all right that is why eutrophication is bad how does uh, the fertilizer uh, goes to the soil uh, from goes from the soil to the water that is if there is excess fertilizer on the land then either it will be absorbed by the soil and eventually it will uh, join the lakes it will go to the lakes or the ponds or it will be wiped off by the rain and there will be rain the rain water will wipe off the fertilizer from the soil and it will bring this excess fertilizer to the ponds and the lakes and when this fertilizer because fertilizer is food for plants now that when this fertilizer will go when this fertilizer will be added into the plants it will promote the growth of uh, algae the fertilizer will promote the growth of uh, el algae on the surface of water hence it got it leads to eutrophication all right now there are some special plants which have some special nodules in their roots all right these nodules or the legumes these are called the legumes these nodules will extract nitrogen directly from the air or because air is mostly nitrogen or right? the, the major component of air is nitrogen so these plants can directly use nitrogen from the air and they can use it to make their proteins or right? these plants are called leguminous plants and they do not need nitrogenous fertilizers because they can produce their own nitrogen the examples of such plants are peas or any other plants that have uh, the fruit which has spaces inside them for example peas have a structure like this there are these peas so these such plants can uh, produce such plants with seeds or such plants with beads they can produce they have legumes in their roots and they can they are called leguminous plants and they can fix nitrogen in them they can use the nitrogen from the air and they do not need any external fertilizer for their needs of nitrogen here are a few examples of fertilizers for example liquid ammonia it is nh3 it is injected directly into the ground using some special apparatus and then there is ammonium nitrate it's a fertilizer again it is made from the reaction between ammonia and nitric acid all right ammonia reacts with nitric acid to form ammonium nitrate a fertilizer that is why we need ammonia because it is used to make fertilizer then we have ammonium sulfate and it is made by the reaction between ammonia and sulfuric acid again the importance of ammonia and the importance of haber process we react ammonia with sulfuric acid to form another fertilizer which is ammonium sulfate and then we have urea it is made from the reaction between ammonia and carbon dioxide again that is why we started haber process because ammonia is used to make urea as well now this urea is less soluble in water than other ammonium fertilizers for example ammonium nitrate and ammonium sulfate they are highly soluble in water but urea is less soluble in water and urea also reacts uh, with water and soil to form ammonia all right yes let's move on to acidity in the soil there is one more condition that the soil sometimes becomes acidic due to uh, acid rain or due to other conditions the soil the ph of soil can become low can become less all right but uh, the ph that is needed for crops is different some most crops need a neutral soil some uh, the ph of soil needs to be adjusted depending upon the type of crop that you need to grow all right so if the soil is acidic you need to remove that acidity from the soil how can you do it calcium hydroxide or calcium oxide which is also called quick lime these are uh, the basic this is alkaline and bases these are the bases that are used to neutralize the acidity in the soil there comes a limitation now 
when we want to reduce the acidity of the soil then with calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide then both calcium hydroxide and calcium oxide they react with nitrogenous fertilizers to form ammonia gas all right if we have a fertilizer added into the soil and we want to remove its acidity as well we add calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide then they will react with the fertilizers to form ammonia gas now this ammonia gas will leave the soil and it escapes into the atmosphere now when the ammonia is leaving the soil it is obviously decreasing the nitrogen content of the soil which is not good for the plants because plants need that nitrogen and if uh, our alkali or if the quick lime and if the fertilizer they are together then the quick lime will cause the fertilizer uh, to release its uh, to release ammonia gas ammonia gas will be lost from the soil and hence the nitrogen content is being decreased which is not what we want so the limitation is we cannot add the quick lime if and fertilizer together all right we need we can only do one thing at a time if we do both then the soil will lose their nitrogen content that's it for now. I'll see you next time.